Hi, I'm Alex Joseph from Doc365. In this video, we will show you how to disable or enable SharePoint site collection features. By configuring SharePoint site collection settings, you can utilize the functionalities and capabilities of SharePoint platform to its best. To configure the settings, you need to first go to your SharePoint site homepage and then click on site contents from the top bar. This is a communication site here. From there, you can click on the site text settings option at the top. It will take you to the site settings page. Here you will see all kinds of um, settings options. From the site collection administration section, click on site collection features. Here you will see all, all the full list of site collection features available in your SharePoint site. Based on the SharePoint account you're having, uh, the features will be uh, less or more. Uh, you need to contact your SharePoint admin to get access to more features. From all these features listed here, you can choose the one you need and to the end of each feature, you will see an activate or deactivate button based on the status of each feature. In this site, we haven't activated any of the site collection features. So all of the features are showing an activate button. Well, let's let me show you an another site too. This is one of our, our team sites over here. And to activate the site collection features here, you can either go to the site contents option here, like before, or click on the site settings icon at the top and choose site information. And from uh, from the options over here, you can choose view all site settings. Uh, this option can be chose when you are not seeing the site settings icon or site content options uh, anywhere in the site. So uh, click on the view all site settings. It will take you to the site settings page. From there, you can choose um, site collection features from from the site collection administration section. So as in the previous section, it will take you to the list of features. So here we are, we have already uh, activated a few uh, options like the document sets, which is actually activated right now. So you can see the status as active. If you want to deactivate this feature, you can click on deactivate. Oh uh, yeah, there is one more feature we have enabled, it's a three state workflow. So if you want to deactivate any of these features, click on, just click on deactivate. So it will change to, yeah, first you will get a warning that you are about to deactivate this feature. Read this and confirm that you want to deactivate it and uh, if you want to activate any service, say you want to activate the document ID service, just click on activate option over here. And it will be activated directly. So you can see the activate active uh, status over here. So that's how you, you can activate or deactivate the site collection features from your SharePoint site. This is how you can configure SharePoint site collection features quickly. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more SharePoint tutorials. We have also done a blog on this topic, so you will get more detailed information from there. I will leave the link in the description. Have a good day. Thank you.